Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Sokka here, and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis IV. And when we last left off, we took off a major chunk from France, including some of the high development places like Paris as part of our mission. We're working on that overextension now. Uh, we are coring all of these uh, provinces that we took. Expiring CB for Ferrara, we really don't care. Ferrara, Ferrara is no big thing. And we have an ahead of time penalty for Diplo Tech. Uh, we'll wait for, we might be able to store enough points until January. That way that tech penalty isn't so bad. We're working on keeping troops uh, staged here while these cores uh, complete because that is giving us overextension. Uh, and overextension is making people a little bit angry. But we took a, a good chunk. Our exiled armies are moving home. Aquitaine has declared war on France. So we have a truce with France. I don't know if they will call us in. Uh, but Aquitaine is going to go for the for the French as well. And it's a good thing. Oh, a great advisor has died. We need a new Diplo, t uh, Diplo guy. Colonial range would be awesome. I don't know about the global tariffs and the uh, the exorbitant cost of a level 2 advisor, so we'll stick with the level 1 advisor. Increases our colonial range a bit. We don't need it as of yet, but once we get done colonizing uh, these three counties here, then we can start moving, you know, sort of west into the new world and, and colonize there, and we will need all of the colony uh, distance that we can possibly muster. And yep, cores are coming along slowly and surely. Uh, we might want to think about, once we can, promoting some cultures. Um, because we're going to start taking a lot of French territory. And if we can promote French, that would be good. Rebel Uprising. So an 80% chance in Argyll, Hull, Cambridge, Sussex, Coventry, Chester, and Leicester. So that's our big guys up here, is it not? All right, so that's going to be a 31 stack. Let's go ahead and get our transports down here to our moor and pick up this 20 stack, get these guys uh, ferried across, and then with our leader, we should be able to just hop right on over. There you guys go. Hop on the transport and up to Dorset if you please. All right, there's 19.8. For the cause. So, Senian heretics. Interesting indeed. French separatists is also pretty big. Uh, once we get those rebels taken care of, we may have to come down here, although we have plenty uh, down here to support that. It's just a question of do we have enough up here to support that? And I think we do. Let's get these transports back across the channel to meet up with these 2k coming and then we can do some rebel busting here. All right, there we go. Up to Dorset if you please. And these 22,000 will stand ready to deploy against rebels if they fire. We'll see if they tick up. It says less than a year for these Socinian heretics. Well, separatists are ticking up, French separatists are ticking up, but that's to be expected because we're coring their lands and basically uh, doing the work on them. 25% reduction now. We are almost capped out on Diplo points. Um, we could recruit another Admiral for our trade to spend some of that Diplo points without going over. If there's some uh, maneuver speed, that would help. Why not? Let's recruit an Admiral for 50 points. We'll still be ahead of time. Horatio Hood. So I want a, a Horatio in charge of this one. And Augustus will be in charge of our trade fleet. Go ahead and dock up in Norfolk, if you please. We'll assign our leader, Augustus and then have you protect trade in the English Channel as well. So with that increased maneuver speed, uh, the ship should be able to do the work. Go ahead. 
Well, I guess that bark uh, took some damage. Interesting indeed. We can build buildings. Now, one of our missions here, if I remember correctly, was to build workshops. Yeah, five workshops. And I don't know if we have that technology yet. So, Admin Tech 6 is what we need. So, we're on Admin Tech 5. We're getting the reduction for our neighbor. We should get that up pre pretty quickly. And then we can work on those workshops. So, we'll save up some money in order to build those five workshops quick, fast, and in a hurry. How's Aquitaine doing? Yeah, they took back their two provinces here and are moving in on the French since we essentially wiped out their entire army. Uh, France is easy pickings for our friends across the, uh, across the way. And they have quite a bit of land. I'm glad we are their allies. Um, I don't know if I want to move down in here to Aquitaine. If they do something like integrate Leon or Aragon, we'll, we'll have to find some new friends. But that's all well and good. Let's actually top off relations with Aquitaine. Yeah. Improve those relations so he don't come after cores that we want. And Hungary may be pretty beneficial in our next war. Let's go ahead and improve relations there as well. Keep our diplomats doing something uh, while we collect moolah. And I imagine France may be on the verge of breaking into rebels as well. We're still at 80 and 80 for the French separatists and the Socinian heretics. Uh, once we knock them down, uh, they won't be standing up against us anymore, which would be quite handy. Also, once our cores are done, that will lower the revolt risk as well. Speaking of which, I'm going to hit my B key, sort by unrest, and it looks like we can go ahead and lower the autonomy. Oh, that's positive. Oops, almost made a goof. Yeah, so Dorset will be the next unrest that we can lower. And they're at 19% autonomy. We can decrease it by 25, so we waste a little bit. But the quicker we can get that down, uh, the better. 90% for the Socinian heretics. All right, what is the highest supply limit here? 44. Let's go ahead and get everyone to London. Group our army up. Hopefully we have the correct layout. I think it's mostly infantry here. We got two cav to flank. No cav there. And no cav in either one of those. So our two cav will be flanking. If we wanted to be really micro, we could bring up a few more cavalry up here. Two, just two regiments of cavalry to support that flank. And I think we might be actually over the, the supply limit here in London just by a little skosh. Yes, we are by three. Let's go ahead and create a new unit. Break off three. We'll just do a couple more infantry and set them to Oxford before the end of the month so we don't get that monthly attrition tick. And then if they fire, we'll group up and go to work. We have a few forts in the area that will protect it and keep them from uh, taking that land. The Peasants' War in France. Oh, man. France is getting wrecked. Now they have peasants. 18,000 peasants that poor Aquitaine is going to have to fight. Hopefully, um, these guys <laughs> stay on the French side of the border and not try to... Oh, Luxembourg declared war on France. It is on now. Poor... All right. All cores are done. All right, the foreign drill instructor. So we lose some money and we gain a two skill morale of armies reformer, 50% cheaper. I think morale would be very good, especially fighting against the rebels. He's half cost, so we get more military points. Let's go ahead and do that, we'll hire him. Head to our council here and fire our current guy. So we're replacing a morale of armies guy with another Morale of Armies guy right there that's half price. Same price as the level one advisor. So yes, Andrew Blake, we want you. And we'll start making eight military points a month. And now we're almost capped on, yeah, we're capped on Diplo. We might as well go ahead and take the next tech. 
That gives us shipyards, trade range, and I believe we have uh, more cultures that we can promote. We've got two of three. So Breton, Dutch, Scottish, Highlander. 8%, 50 development, 24 development. I think it makes sense to promote the Breton culture for 100 Diplo. It's 8%, and I don't see... F yeah, Frankian, 0% on the cores. Oh, because they're Dutch. Frankian, Frankian, Dutch, 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 Dutch. It almost seems like Dutch is the culture that we should really promote down here. So let's go ahead and do that. 100 Diplo. And now Dutch will be an accepted culture. The unrest will drop significantly. They have some separatism, but that is fine. And yeah, the Socinian heretics are dropping off. We don't need the troops down there. French separatists at Nante and Valois. So it looks like we need to get some on Valois and Valois. Or Valois and Nantes. Are you up here? Nemour, Chartres. Oh, you're over there. All right, sounds good. Let's go and get our transports over here. We'll send a 20 stack over to Valois. Well, probably Nantes first, uh, because it does not have a fort to protect it. If they tried to stand up in Valois, they would have to siege down the fort. All right. Let's go ahead and get them there. Try to stop these French separatists. All right, we'll recall the diplomat from Aquitaine. Military access from Thuringia, sure. Have at France, go ahead. Knock, make my day. Knock your socks off. All right, so Nantes unrest has dropped. Let's go ahead and get our transports over to pick up our other 19 stack. And while we're at it, let's add one more infantry division and we'll get them to Valois. And they can hold 32 regiments as well, so we don't have to worry about the attrition. Let's get them down to Co, and then we'll march on over to Valois. Oh geez, nope, hold up. Let them pass through. We are not going to take an attrition tick on behalf of that huge Aquitaine force marching through. All right, so will that quell the Separatists? I believe it does. So that will decay slowly. Nemur and Bas Porto. So, I mean, we're pretty, pretty close. What is the strength of the Kipriot Separatists, I wonder? Kipriot, 23K. All right, that's fine. So France is completely sieged down again. It'll be interesting to see... Oh, Aquitaine's fighting their peasants. Yeah, we knew that wouldn't last long. And they'll go ahead and siege that down. It'll be interesting to see what Aquitaine takes in the war. And they're also at war with Luxembourg and Thuringia as well. There might not be any cores for us to really pick on unless it is from one of these guys like Luxembourg that we can just declare war on that way. All right, how is our tech coming along? We're almost on time with military tech for more cavalry shock, infantry fire, and regimental camps. That'd be pretty good. Uh, I don't believe we'll need to recruit a general. No, we're capped out on our leader cap, so we don't have to worry about spending our military points to recruit generals um, as long as we're at the limit. I know we have claims on all of that stuff. Disputed succession, none of our uh, royal marriage partners are involved. Truce will expire with France in 1503, so we've got quite a large chunk of truce time with France. In fact, he may not even exist by the time we are able to go to war again. Bospoito and Nemur. So Bospoito, non-accepted culture and massive separatism. Tolerance is good. They're a Catholic nation, but 
You know, we're, we're ready to, to pounce on them as soon as we are able. In fact, the 25 stack may go ahead and move on over once the uh, French Separatists are completely gone. They'll come back, but we can try to... Oh, so Aquitaine took all of that. Cut right through the center. That belongs to Leon. So we only have three counties here that we can take from France. I think maybe only one or two wars in France will be gone from the map and we will have our bestest allies right here with us. So I'm thinking maybe an eastward march into the Holy Roman Empire would be a good uh, way to go. We have some papal interactions. How many cardinals do we have? We've got seven cardinals. We'll go ahead and do two bumps there, and with the rest of our papal influence, we'll get uh, national taxes. Interest? I don't think we have any interest here. Let's take a look at our economy. No, no inflation, no interest, so we're great on the money side. Is there anything for unrest? All right, stability is less than three and a hundred papal influence. That was pretty good. 50 papal influence for one mercantilism. That would be pretty powerful in our trade nodes. Let's go ahead and take that. That should be fine. And we'll see if we can become the papal controller. All right, I'll wait until January. Uh, in January, we won't be ahead of time by a year. We can save some money. We're not at war, so we don't really need to jump off the deep end when it comes to military tech. And it's only two months away. Saxony. Damascus and Baghdad, no. And Damascus, no. I don't know why you're trying to go over there. You're, you're not at war with anyone I care about. All right, so we need to keep getting our admin points up so we can have this workshop. We're doing an admin tech group. That is the organized regiment. Recruitment time goes down. It's not going to give us a finisher on City on a Hill. It's not going to complete anything. So for our mission, we're going to hold on to these admin points uh, until we are ready to go ahead and purchase that. We'll go ahead and get the pike and shot ready to go. We can now build regimental camps. So we'll keep on par with the military tech. And then once we get the administrative tech, we may actually be on time for the next one. But the workshops are what I really want to build, and I'm, I'm saving up my treasury to do that. We don't want to be Defender of the Faith, because I don't feel like um, defending all those people. Namur and Bas Poitou. Alright, so 25 is the supply limit. We're going to be there. Namur is here. How about we move... How many can you handle? 24? Gain a general with 100 prestige, lose 25 prestige, 25 legitimacy, or gain 25 legitimacy. We need the legitimacy. Tighten the rules. Make sure this doesn't happen again. Boom. Get our points up. And we want to send 24 troops over to Namur. All the cannons, all the cav. That's 10. We'll send a 20 stack on over. Because I believe Paris is fine. Yeah, we're lowering the unrest there, and we should be lowering the unrest there. Yep, we're dealing with our Cypriot Separatists. That will take down. French Separatists are starting to, to pick back up again, but we can quell that by the time um, they roll around here. Nante at 1.2, and then the rest should... Uh, slowly tick away in time. France is almost 100%ed again. Do they still have this island down here? Yeah. They have the Beleris, and they have these two provinces here to keep France alive. There's where he's recruiting all of his troops from, which is really inconvenient when, you're, when your mainland is getting wrecked, for sure. So I don't know if these guys are going to hop on a boat and try to take this land down here or not to 100% France out, but... Oh, war's over. It kind of looks like they took war reps. Because France does still exist. France is small enough 
to rival Luxembourg. Interesting indeed. Modena. You're at war with a bunch of people that I'm not. No. All right, sweet. So in a few months time, we'll be able to get the administrative tech. Then we can complete this mission to build buildings and then 2,000 ducats to build a treasury. That'll be nice. What do we get for this? Oh, 10% tax income, 50 admin power, which leads right into building a treasury in which we get the inflation reduction. Pisa. No. No, don't. Just, just don't. Yep, almost there. And if it gets to January, we'll get an even bigger... Yeah, I think we'll get an even bigger reduction come January. So we'll wait 30 days. We'll save us some admin points. Because then we'll be a little bit further behind. We'll get to save some money. Put it towards that next idea group if we are not... Uh, or if we're ahead of time on this. Still 15%? Yeah, still 15%. I thought we could swing it. But there we go. Now we can build workshops, the national decisions. Admin tech six, what does that do? Catholicism, missionary strength and taxes. We'll do that. Seems good. We'll build buildings. We need five workshops here. We'll sort by improvement. One, two, three, four, five. All right, since those buildings are done, we want to sort of work for the uh, the next mission. And to keep 2,000 gold in the treasury would be a uh, pretty high ask, but we are pulling in 18 per month. Luxembourg declared war on France, the succession war. Interesting, so is there a royal marriage there? And uh, from Anconia, at war with people we don't care about, no. So Luxembourg is going ham when it comes to those. East and West March at 0.1. Montgomery at 0.1. 300 years. 333 years. Over the next year, I think their separatism will lower enough. Speaking of which, let's take a look at our autonomy here. Yeah, we can lower the autonomy there, there, and there. So now in Scarborough, Dorset, and Devon, we'll be making a whole lot more. So yeah, 0 0.27, 0 0.1. They're completely uh, unautonomous. Oh, geez. French peasants. So luckily we're the defender. We took that military tech. We lost 3,400. We'll reinforce those up. It was a sheer infantry, uh, sheer infantry flank. But that's fine. We'll go ahead and uh, get those guys just reinforced for a couple months. Now, if this ticks up to 100%, even though the revolt is in 333 years, that's going to be uh, a pain for sure. So, Luxembourg. Who are your allies? Saxony and Thuringia. Let's build a spy network on those guys. Let's see if we can start marching in eastward. Since Luxembourg thinks he's going to be so big and bad and take these counties here, then we'll just move in on him there. In the meantime, what we can do... Oh, we're at 100% spy network strength on France. Anjou. Maine. We'll get a claim on Maine. We'll get a claim on Anjou. Sweet. And then what we also want to do... Why are we... Oh, with Corsica. Because they were friends with France. So what we want to do is look at the allies of Luxembourg. Saxony's plus 11, so we will improve relations with him. Try to get Saxony up to the point where he doesn't want to join a war against us, against Luxembourg. Are you an elector in the Holy Roman Empire, good sir? Slavonia, Baghdad. Baghdad's in the Holy Roman Empire. We'll get on you. Yeah, Luxembourg is a member of the Holy Roman Empire. Um, we may want to improve relations with Bohemia as well. 
So the Emperor doesn't join? Now, if we're allied to the Emperor, he definitely won't join. But we'll see. If we were to declare war on Luxembourg, I believe... It would show that the Emperor would be willing to defend. There's our mission fulfilled. We've built buildings, we get more tax income. Now we're working on building a treasury. And then have all of the following provinces, all own provinces, have a mill, farm, trade, plantation, textile, weapons. Holy crap. So this is the last mission we can do for a while in this particular branch, I think for sure. Dominate trade, North Sea. Great Britain has 75% more trade power in the North Sea. That's interesting indeed. We've subjugated France. We're not going to establish trade there in India. We haven't discovered America yet. Sell in America would be nice. Establish American trade. And conquer Ireland. Munster and Ulster. We're working on that with our colonists. That's almost a colony. 959 of a thousand people that's going to be trading in iron. It's a pretty worthwhile uh, investment for sure. The next that we can do is five, four, and three. So Donegal is going to be the next place we colonize. We probably already have enough money that we can send a colonist here. Pull him back, send a colonist here, pull him back, and send a colonist here, and pull him back. That'd be pretty expensive, but once this colony is done, I'll, I'll see if I can swing it. We'll set up two active colonies. One will gain people faster than the other. Genoa, at war with Provence, Medina, Sardinia, Verona, and Susa. No. Do not care. Alright, so the Scots are ticking down, and then we should have no rebels. Hopefully those peasants in France think twice about marching across will be the defender. I don't think there's a river crossing. No, only a river crossing from here to here. But we'd still be the defender in good terrain and all will be well. All right, Emperor is really liking us here. When can we get our first claim on Luxembourg? 20. So once we get our first claim on Luxembourg, we will see what happens. And then we'll, we'll just use the declare war option, just sort of see who would join the war. Nice, colony self-sustaining. Let's get a colonist up there. And then once he's there, we will, actually I think, oh, we got a core, nice. 18 admin to core that. All right, so he's building the colony there. Colonies are taking up, that's uh, state maintenance. Let's see. Colonial maintenance two from Donegal. So if we were to recall this guy and send him down here, This colony will continue to build. 19.8% settler chance. There we go. Mission fulfilled. Uh, which one? Conquer Ireland. Nice. Alright. Local goods produced for 15 years is pretty powerful. And then conquer Scotland. So we need to send our colonists up there. We'll go ahead and recall them. And send them up to Scotland. Now, I believe this is also a part of Scotland, our, our friends in Norway. But once he gets up there, we'll see if that completes the mission. Nice. Conquer Scotland. Promoted culture cost reduction, cost of advisors with ruler culture and 150 admin. Can't go wrong with that. How is our admin tech? We're 10% behind. We can unlock another idea group, which would be pretty powerful because we are just swimming in Diplo, uh, Diplo points. We're still ahead of time for sure. 
So I want to unlock this um, admin group so we can take a diplomatic uh, idea and then work on both admin and diplo ideas because we don't want to fall behind in military. So that seems to be the good way to go. Thuringia has canceled rights. Let's go ahead and get a claim. Let's see, on Antorf? Or Camerich? Camerich. Boom. Alright, we have gained the conquest Castus Belly. So let's bring him back. Declare war and see if the Emperor would defend. So Bohemia would definitely defend, but not by much. So if we keep our guy in Bohemia, talking to the Emperor, that should be pretty good. If anything, we can pay Bohemia a little bit. So yeah, um, Luxembourg would be in a league all of their own. Nice. Let's go ahead and work on... I mean, do we want to try to go now while uh, Luxembourg has troops running about? If we were to pay Bohemia just a little bit of money, let's see. Now, if we got an alliance, they definitely wouldn't attack. If we royal marriage, that would improve. But I think we can just send a gift. 23, 25. So if we send him 125 bucks, that increases his relations by 25 for 60 months. Confirm. And then when he gets back, we will see if we can go to war against Luxembourg here. Dang. All right, I don't want to fight Bohemia. That is for sure. Leon would join the war. If we could get Hungary in here, fighting in another war, 495 bucks in debt. So fighting in another war is going to keep them out. That one's a distant war. And Aquitaine is already at war with Luxembourg. Huh. Let's just keep on working on getting some claims up here then. No, that's Cologne. There's Luxembourg. Occupied by Cologne. Let's go ahead and build up our spy network. Get as many claims as we can on, um, on Luxembourg. We'll continue to improve relations with Bohemia and hope that they stay the Holy Roman Emperor. And all should be well. All right, so maybe next year we'll get another reduction in ahead of time bonus to take that idea group. And then we can throw some of these extra Diplo points into that idea group. Because we are nine years ahead of time in Diplo tech, so we definitely want to utilize those points. And I think a good Diplo idea, exploration ideas, we get another colonist, we can get the quest for the new world. Uh, we'll maintain him. The quest for the new world is going to be outstanding. Colonial range goes up, global settler increase goes up, and we can start heading westward. So with our ideas that we currently have now, we have expansion ideas. When we look at exploration ideas, and we look at what it's coupled with with expansion ideas, the global settler increases at 20 edict. That's pretty good. All right, Ethiopia. Good job. Ethiopia is leading something. Where is he? Oh. Tell you what, Ethiopia is a powerhouse now. That is outstanding. Good job, Ethiopia. All right, so as far as missions go, it looks like the next possible one is building that treasury. For 2,000 ducats, we're, we're keeping money in the bank. We've got all those colonies kicking off, though. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, complete the colony and then move the colonists down here. And if we unlock that idea, 
we'll have another colonist that we can put there to speed that growth along. Definitely want him here in Donegal, I think. So we'll go ahead and recall him and send him to Donegal for the higher development. Then when we unlock that next tech, we'll uh, get that first idea and then get another set uh, colonist and send him down there. Holy crap, military access. Decline. Decl Actually, I kind of... I should have done military access so people could attack Luxembourg. But I tell you, France is in a pickle. France is uh, getting some of the pain. There we go. Renaissance thought. We can unlock another idea group. And we will take the exploration ideas. And then we can... There we go. Exploration ideas. We get another colonist. And we can get an... Quest for the New World. So now we can recruit an explorer. And we're one away from the global settler increase on top of the colonies that we already have. So that is outstanding. We'll go ahead and send our colonists down there. So we'll have two colonists working. And then what we can do is take our transport... No, we, we want our fastest ships. So we don't want heavies. We kind of want to pull a few light ships. So I'll tell you what. We'll build a few light ships here. Uh, some barks. And uh, one, two, three. So we'll get three light ships together. We'll hire an explorer and then send them out into Terra Incognita. And because we're good friends with Norway, they'll give us fleet basing rights so we can sort of use this as our launching point. Old Iceland. Which is pretty cool stuff. Alright, so when will our truce expire? 1503, so we are, you know, six years away from trouncing what's left of France. By that time, hopefully, we will have our three ships built and we can try to discover America, which is next up on the docket. All right, 30 admin power, 10 diplo power, and 300 bucks for yearly prestige. We are losing 2.2, or we just lose 5 prestige overall. Yep, support the Florentine school. That's fine. So did France win against Luxembourg? It looks like they did. Does Luxembourg even exist anymore? All right, hop on the finder. Luxembourg. Is that your only province? Well, one thing that I am pretty good about is we can fabricate some claims on these others. Reims, in particular. Nice. So, France grows, but then we just take from France. So, France is doing the hard work for us. Outstanding. I like it. France announced Leon as a rival. Well, if you go to war with our buddies down here, uh, you've got another thing coming, good sir. But I think that is going to be a good stopping point for now, ladies and gentlemen. So, we've got our rebels busted. We have quests for the new world. We have a couple new colonists uh, getting everything set up here on the island. And then all we need to do is hire ourselves an explorer when these three ships get built. And we are heading westward to discover America. Sounds like a plan. But that's going to do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next Europa Universalis video. Take care.